Innovation and Excellence Awards were initiated in 2005 and serve as the pinnacle of recognition for those who go above and beyond in their service to Mary Greeley Medical Center, their coworkers, patients, family members, and the communities where they live and work. I have had a great deal of fun telling people this spring that our service award winner comes from the accounting department. <laughs> he graduated from Iowa State University in 2004 with an accounting degree and is a certified public accountant. He joined Mary Greeley in our accounting department as a decision support coordinator in July of 2008. That's a pretty short time to make the mark that Kyle's made thus far. Employees throughout the medical center will testify that Kyle clearly accomplishes his goal to serve. Kyle, on behalf of the Medical Center, congratulations. I was hoping to not go first. Can I say that? I'll be brief, I promise. Uh, I just want to thank Mary Greeley Medical Center and the Selection Committee first for uh, just presenting this award to me. Uh, it's truly an honor to be recognized. I want to thank Lori Vanderwerf, Amy Monahan, and Sue Scholes for nominating me. Uh, thank you for taking the time, for caring enough to submit a, uh, a form. And just thank you for the kind and generous words you said. They were quite humbling. And more than the award itself, I was truly honored by the words you wrote. Uh, also, just an enormous thank you to the long list of people that have taught me and challenged me, uh, encouraged me, and supported me here. Uh, in an effort to leave nobody out, uh, I'm going to leave everyone out. <laughs> and admittedly, I work on the periphery of the medical center. Uh, it's true that accounting will never be mistaken for patient care. I don't think you're going to hear Brian up here reading a patient letter that says, uh, thanks to the balancing of the debits and credits, I'm alive today. <laughs> But that said, many of you are saving lives and taking care of patients with tremendous compassion, both directly and indirectly. And uh, my motivation comes from that inspirational work that the rest of you are doing. And I just want to thank you for the chance to contribute to this team here. It is an amazing team. Thank you very much. I would now ask uh, Lois Nelson to come forward. Lois is being recognized for innovation and excellence in nursing practice. She is, of course, a registered nurse at Mary Greeley Medical Center, serving in our GI services unit. She is also properly called a teacher and communicator. Her passion for patient care translates into making sure her patients are informed. She's been employed here at Mary Greeley for 21 years, and I saw you were a 20-year honoree today, so during that time, she also received certification for the American Board Certification for Gastroenterology, in addition to a Bachelor's of Science in the Health Arts. She authored an article in the February 2010 issue of Endo Nurse Magazine. Lois's clinical supervisor, Jan Robinson, and her director, Jane Jackson, nominated Lois for the award. They agree that Lois is recognized by her coworkers for her compassion and is a compare is a caring professional who takes necessary time to provide patients with the specialized touch and individual care they deserve. And Lois, I'm approaching that magic birthday, so um, I'm, we're going to need a couple years more from you, okay? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, I'm very humbled and honored to receive this award. I'd like to thank my supervisor, Jan, and my director, Jane, and my coworkers. I'm very thankful to work with such knowledgeable peers, and I'm very fortunate to work with such great physicians as well. I've received many, um, since I've got the award, I've received many very kind words via email and um, cards and personal messages of which have really touched my heart. Just today, I received a card that says, a nurse is a person whose help means so much, whose knowledge and skill have a kind, caring touch, 
who's quick in a crisis but takes time to see that patients are treated compassionately. A nurse reaches out to help make people whole, not only in body, but also in soul. I am very proud to be a nurse. Nursing is a respected career with a promise of internal fulfillment. It's not an obligation for me, but a desire. I've been a nurse for 36 years, and yes, I started when I was 12. Um, and 28 of those have been in gastroenterology. My passion in nursing is communication and education to give the best care possible to the patients. It seems I'm always looking for a better way to provide the specialized touch that they deserve. The impression I make on a patient will be lasting and I want to leave a legacy. I want to love the process of building that legacy and living my dash. With Memorial Day coming up, take a look at the headstones out in the cemetery and what do you see but the dates of someone's birth and their death. Then think about the dash in between. What was that person's life like? It's all about finding the purpose that God has for each one of us. Carrie Shook wrote a book called One Month to Live and he says to live passionately, love completely, learn humbly, and leave boldly. I believe in these words. I believe you need to be creative and not complacent in your time here on earth. Discover who you were meant to be and grow through your trials. And stay the course, creating that legacy with no regrets. Utilize your unique gifts, find your purpose, and enjoy your journey. After hearing of this award, I took a look at the nomination form and again am privileged that I was chosen to represent excellence in the nursing practice by exhibiting activities in the categories of quality and patient safety, service, people, growth, finance, and medical staff. With these diverse indicators, this means you must be in pursuit of thinking outside the circle. I like to think outside the circle versus outside a box and go beyond your borders of expectation. It's not just what you do here at your job, it's also what you do with the rest of your time. I, am not, I not only love nursing, I also have a passion for service. There are still a lot of things I want to accomplish. I just know that he's not finished with me yet. I want to be ready when Jesus asks, what did you do with what I gave you? I'm able to give myself because, give of myself because I don't want to wait to give the leftovers. It's easy to fill ourselves up with other things and then give whatever is left. Francis Chan says in his book, Crazy Love, it's not what you advertise that counts, it's what you are really made of. I'd like to leave you with a quote from Dale Carnegie who says, don't worry about what other people think about you. Spend time trying to accomplish what people can admire about you. Thank you again for this memorable award. Steve Pendry, our former media services coordinator, and Betsy Scholler, director of human resources, nominated Matt for the award. Steve said, Matt has worked steadily and effectively to develop and maintain outstanding service by his staff in their actions in every area demonstrate the values he has worked to inspire. Upon hearing that he was chosen for the recognition, Matt's first thought was to acknowledge his colleagues. He said to be in the same peer group as Shonda Calkins, who was the director of cardiopulmonary, cardiopulmonary services. That's, that's not right. <laughs> I didn't say that. Shonda runs cardiac services. That's what I said. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and she was also the 2004 uh, Innovation and Excellence in Management Award winner. And Sue Scholes, uh, let's see, what does Sue run? Information systems, is that right? <laughs> From the William R. Bliss Cancer Center. And Janelle Anderson, who does, in fact, run information systems. Matt said, I've always looked up to those people. That's pretty cool. Matt Hart. I'll tell you, this is really a cool thing right now. So I'm really glad to be here. Thank you, Betsy and uh, Steve Pendry, for for your nomination. And really it is, the first thing I did uh, think of was people like Shauna Calkins and, and uh, Sue Scholes and Janelle Anderson. And just a few words about each. Sue is someone uh, I have been lucky enough to work with since my first day at Mary Greeley and 
February 28th, 1999, she was in my same division with uh, Jerry Sloan. Right away, I knew Sue was a leader. By the way people respected her as a department director and her professionalism, she displays every single day. Sue and I have had many discussions in her office over the years, uh, talking about administration issues, management issues, human resources issues, and I always felt that she gave me great advice. Sue, thank you for being my mentor. Shauna Calkins. Shauna is one of those leaders I see who is constantly teaching and working with her supervisors and nursing staff. I've heard this firsthand from her staff on what a great leader she is. I like to call her the patient rounding queen. I get more feedback from Shauna on her patients and what their needs are so that we can better serve them. Shauna has always been a leader to quickly praise the dietary department and what we do to impact patient care. Thank you, Shauna, for sharing those qualities you have with myself and others. Janelle Anderson. Janelle is the consummate professional to whom I have looked up to in all my years at Mary Greeley. Her leadership in the Information Systems Department has allowed Mary Greeley to remain in the forefront of the modern electronic age. When I think of Janelle, I think of her as one of those quiet leaders who packs a big punch, and her forward thinking is what inspires me. Thank you, Janelle, and happy retirement. Lynn Whistler. Lynn has been my boss for 10 years. We have been through many, many positive changes in dietary. She has pushed me, supported me, encouraged me, but most importantly, made me a better manager. Thank you, Lynn, I appreciate you. Page two. <laughs> Individual awards are nice and I really appreciate this one. But that wall at Mary Greeley with our pictures on it represents more than any individual award. It is a, it is a, it is a result of what many employees' contributions can become. I have been lucky to have worked with great employees in dietetic services. Our job is to provide service to our patients, visitors, and staff. Service to others has been my passion for 25 years. So when I get to work with the management team and 65 other food service workers who actually have a good time doing their jobs, it makes my job that much more rewarding. Thank you to my employees for their support through the years. If all of us did not have the support of our employees, our bosses, our managers, and each other, then none of us would be successful. This much I do know. Mary Greeley Medical Center is fortunate to have dozens of quality leaders that are qualified for this recognition tonight. I'm just lucky to have been nominated and luckier to have been chosen. Thank you.